Darcy Kemper, as we mentioned, just two starts coming back since his injury. And he's looking like he's been in there all season long, Johnny. He came in with some good numbers against New York and completed that here tonight. Yes, he did. I mean, you see, percentage is goalie, right? He's big. He doesn't move, have to move a lot because he takes up so much space in that goal. And the guy's doing good things around him, uh, you know, protecting the house. Uh, this one here, nice to, uh, high deflection from Kreider. He's down early, makes a big save. Keeps his body uh, from going in the net there, for, prevents a goal. Uh, all these, all these things, seen around, seen around big guys in front of the net, making a big save late here. You know, it's four nothing there, but it's still a big save, and it preserves a shutout. You now something, you know, that goalies don't get often when they do. Yep. It's a good feeling. So, uh, and well done, Darcy Campbell. Yeah, in pregame, Johnny, we put the spotlight. We're talking about Shesterkin and his game. Maybe his numbers weren't up to par this season. But Darcy Kemper took this game. Him. Outshined him here. Tonight. He outshined him. And you know what? You, you, you saw a little frustration on Shesterkin's side, too, because he had a guy, like we said earlier, he had a guy in his grill all night long with the, with, with Austin Capitals were right in his face, making his life miserable. So, uh, yeah, and then Darcy Kemper on the other side just did his job. Uh, like I said, he's so big in there, these guys yeah. have to make pinpoint accurate shots, and they couldn't do that tonight. We mentioned the puck look, but I feel like they were creating their own luck there tonight. Everything Always, yeah. seems to be working Hard right work, now yeah. for the Capitals. Well, let's continue this conversation with our bottom line thought, and welcome back in Joe Beninati and Craig Lachlan. We're on the call tonight. And Joe, what an exciting time for the Capitals right now. Four goals, four different goal scores. Lars Eller said during the intermission, everyone is doing everything right now. It just seems like a whole team game. Very much so, and at even strength and on the special teams, right? So they had an even strength goal, yep. they had a shorty, they had a power play goal, they get the shutout performance. Yep. It's all around. It's a whole lot of people who can be credited uh, with earning these victories. And, and more than anything, Locker, what stands out for me, when you have Kemper and Lindgren playing like this in goal, yep. that gives the Caps collectively from top to bottom a whole lot of confidence. Absolutely, and playing with uh, in front of Kemper, all you got to do is give him a little bit of a sight line because his side is going to stop the puck, even if he doesn't see it majority of time. I give kudos to Kemper tonight, but I also give kudos in a big way to the team defensive strategy tonight. I, I thought they were on point, and I think this all stems back. I was telling somebody this the other day that the caps are so depleted that if they don't play well defensively, they're probably going to lose games. So now they've come together collectively for the last 20 games or so, and this has been surgical. This defense I haven't seen from this team in a couple of years, how tight they are, how out, not out of position they ever are. They're always at the right spot. And to me, that carries over to the goaltender, who now doesn't have to make 10 bell save after 10 bell save. Alexa, the defensive execution has to be music to the ears of Peter Laviolette yeah. and Kevin McCarthy. Yeah, guys, uh, we, as you guys are going on and on about all, all the good things the Capitals done, you know, we've noted this comes out off the heels of, you know, just how well they're playing defensively, right? The back checking and, you know, backtracking through the middle of the ice, taking away lanes. You see Lars Eller coming back here. Uh, hustling back, never stop moving their feet. I mean, this generates so much good and so much so much offense, and it's just a great thing to say. You see Dowd coming through the middle, stripping the puck, and a nice, easy exit out of the zone, and it's good things like that that happen. You know, we talk about goaltending and all the good things that lead out, but I just, I'm, I'm wondering from you guys, what is the one shining thing? Right? I'll say goaltending because I'm a former goaltender. <laughs> of course but you are. <laughs> what is the one shiny thing? Has it just been the compete, the hard work, you know, the hustle, uh, moving their feet? I, I'm, I'm interested to what you guys see. They're all great words, Johnny, and I think the way the team played in front of Kemper, you probably would have had a shutout, too. He was, they were that good in front of him. I give credit to the forwards and defense, but that's another topic for another day. I just think they're never they talk about playing connected they talk about playing the dice the five-man unit and it was apparent tonight you mentioned Shesterkin being upset he looked frustrated after he made that glove save immediately ran to the referee to talk about that interference that he thought was caused by Connor Sherry but I think as a whole the New York Rangers were frustrated all night long. I could see the mannerisms going to the bench. They were slow getting there. They were disappointed in their play, and that all stems from how hard the Caps are playing 
at both ends of the ice. I love the not so veiled shot he took at Brent Johnson there, <laughs> which everybody Even just let me. slide Even perfectly. Me. It's close me. to the Johnny. end of the year. Johnny, I, I, I couldn't the, stop you, Locker. Pressure. That's for sure. It's the I, back pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop Locker. That's for it's, sure. It's been the back pressure for me, guys. Alexa, the way the Caps have have closed that gap, the back pressure from the yeah. forwards has really enabled the defenders to step up. And all of a sudden now they are really frustrating the opposition. Yeah, the game plan seems owning to be clicking line, right yeah. now and owning that blue line. Joe B and Locker, thank you guys so much. There's a few more games wrapping up 2022 back at home on Thursday night, and you guys are on the call. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. See you then. All right, we've been talking about goaltending, whether Johnny you could hang in that, of course you could. And Alan May right now is standing by with Darcy Kemper. Let's take a listen. Darcy, let's run through the numbers. Third shot out of the year, 32 saves in this one. You're 5-0-1 in your last six games. Your team is now 9-8-3 and on the road. What has been in the turnaround with everything? I think we're just finding our game, and uh, with that comes, comes confidence. Uh, you know, stringing wins together uh, makes it a lot easier to just go out there and play and, and trust that uh, when you play the right way that the team's going to have success. And, um, you know, you're seeing that right now, and uh, guys are, you know, in and out of the lineup, but uh, when we play our team game, uh, we give ourselves a good chance every night. And we've been documenting since November 23rd, you guys are 13-3-1. and one. Uh, This team's had an incredible transformation. The power play's been clicking. The penalty kill was 5-for-5 five five tonight. When you say the right way, what do you mean by the right way? Well, just playing as, as five-man units, you know, we're, we're being responsible with the puck, uh, limiting on-man rushes against, and and uh you know playing in their end of the rink which uh when we're doing that uh you know uh we don't give up much uh coming back at us the goalies and uh uh make it tough to to beat us tell us about your penalty killers tonight five for five out there a lot of key guys in their power play uh what did you see in front of you yeah they've just the, the pk has been incredible for uh quite a stretch here and uh i think uh you know that's another area where the confidence is just growing and and guys are reading off each other well and uh you know, we're, we're getting a lot of pressure and, uh, you know, taking away the plays that the other team wants to make. So uh, the best we can take away their skill when they got players like that out there, uh, the better chances are. Right now, you guys are the only team in the league with both goaltenders that have 10, 10 wins. And it's been a great tandem so far. Talk about your partner as well. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I was out for a while there and, uh, you know, obviously I was watching the games and he was just doing an incredible job and, uh, you know, to come in and, and play with the confidence that he was and, and uh, you know, leading us to victories was, was awesome to see. I was super happy for him and, uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's really big for the team to have both guys going. Thanks for doing this. It's been really fun to watch. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care. <laughs>